It's been a moment. Yeah. All right. Hey, everybody. My name is G Brown, G Brown, the lifestyle changer, and I'm Frederick Brown, the husband. And we are hanging, hanging with, with the, the Browns. Browns. All right. This is going to be good. You haven't seen us for a while in this uh, setting because normally on Monday I go live with a panel of ladies, carnivore ladies, and this month we're all lying. And Wednesday, you and I go live for a late lunch discussion and we talk about all things. Sundays, we have videos that upload, but this you haven't seen, but it's something that triggered me today. Okay, <clears throat> I want to talk about when I was unhealthy. Unhealthy meaning uh, my largest was 260 pounds. Uh, unhealthy meaning uh, fibromyalgia, just swole, just swole, uncomfortable, uh, sweat up under the boobs, uh, thighs rubbing together, summertime thighs sticking, sticking together, uh, having to put deodorant, not just under the arm, but on the front and on the back. <laughs> I'm just be. I'm just talking my story, yeah. So I uh, powder between the legs. Uh, come on now, this just. I'm just talking like okay, the what, big what, people. What, so you kind of get what I'm saying. Yeah, kind of. What prompted all of this? I okay, mean, what, 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 what are we getting at? I have a a, a good friend that uh, she had surgery, and um, I think so. Part of me, I, I want to help other people, and so they helped me. I just drug you along, and I think I'm the one that harmed you, but we ain't gonna go down that road. Okay, all right. Um, but it was one of those where I tried something else. I tried a lot of things, just like you have. What diet we didn't try? We tried starvation, fasting. Uh, we and, and listen, as women, I embrace everybody. And the reason why I say that is because we will support one another that we will. If you put up a post, I'm getting ready to start walking. You know, everybody like, well, go ahead, girl. Come on. About a couple of weeks later, we, don't, we really don't hear from you. And nobody comes back on and say, where are you? Why you ain't walking? What's going on? We don't do that because the norm for people that I know is you get sick and tired of sick and tired and you going to give it your go for the standard American diet, you'll mess around and take some things away, add some things, um, whatever you decide to do. But now I eat only meat and that you can't understand. So. Yeah, that, well, it's, it's, it's more than just only meat. We, we are um, um, the only macronutrients that, macros I should say, that we are uh, consuming are um, protein and, and saturated fat. We've given up all carbs and we get all our nutrients from there. So it's more than just meat. I want I don't I don't want to say just meat because right. lean is you can have lean meat as well. So yeah, we're not talking the uh, the lean portion. Right. So there are people in this community that I didn't even know uh, that have been doing this over ten years. Yeah. Um, uh, longevity. Right. You got somebody uh, 20 years and then you have where the word is getting out and we're coming over into it. Now, I can only speak for me. The last lifestyle that I had was vegan. And with that, I still had all of my ailments. OK, but for some reason in my head, I'm not talking about y'all in my head. I put vegans way up here. And some of us do that where it's like, oh, if you if you can get to vegan, well, you just giving up all this stuff. Woo, you doing that thing. No, no. Somewhere we've done that and society will let it go because the people up top, they doing one of these numbers. Let them go ahead and be vegan. Go right ahead because y'all still coming on to the hospital. Y'all still coming on. Yeah, you're doing that. So they don't mind. But what I'm talking about sounds crazy to you. I had, you know, people, and it, if this is one of the things that you've said to me, doesn't mean that right now I'm talking about you because multiple people, so I'm just coming up with comments. That's unheard of. That doesn't even make sense or sound healthy. Well, here's the thing. You're standing on the other side, but if you know me just a little bit, just a little bit, and I'm saying to you 
that 13 months ago, he was on a walker, could not walk, and I was rubbed up to rolling around in severe pain where I was on Percocets. I keep saying that for three years, 120 pills a month trying to not be in so much discomfort, but even those pills didn't uh, cure or work anything. It was just uh, a, a little better until you got to the next thing. The next thing meaning the next pill. So now I'm saying to you, I don't care. Now, hold on, I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back because someone said, please don't offend people. Be careful with what it is. I don't. I won't mention any names of who said it, but they say don't offend anybody. And so it's never my goal to offend you. But I will say this, I'll be 60 years old in what, three months, four months, no, less than five months. I have tried so many things in regards to trying to lose weight all the way up to having surgery. I currently have a reduced size stomach but you've never seen me like this, period. You have it. And so I, 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 I'm trying to tell you, don't knock this until you try it. See, I can sit and talk about uh, eating fast food all the time, tried it. Eating ice cream, tried it. Cabbage but you, but you diet, gotta, tried you, it. You gotta realize Liquid that, diet, tried it. But you gotta realize that, that the majority of the people um, that we're talking to about this lifestyle are basing their opinions on years and years of, 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 of conforming to the standard American diet or years and, and years and years right of of just eating unhealthy right learning learning that you know saturated fat was a bad thing um, a lot of meat raw meat was a bad thing right so they're basing their responses on the information that they've been taught. So you can't, you can't really get upset with them. All that we can do, baby, all that, all that we can do is just continue to share and let them, and let them observe and see what's, how our lives are transforming, how our um, health is transforming. And, and, and that's all you can do. You know, we kind of had this conversation with Carrie before. Yeah. You know, we with, did, with yeah, some of his responses that he was getting. So we, I guess my question to the audience, Especially if you're watching this and you're not carnivore. What is it that you need to see to convince you to try this lifestyle? What I mean, what is you have multiple people. The only people that I've ever run across and I, 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 I don't know who else is doing that. That had anything negative to say it had more to do with you just got tired of eating the meat. Um, uh, could be your budget, could be anything, and you just got kind of, okay, I, I, I need something more. My body really wasn't hurting me. But let me tell you what happens to most people. When they turn around and try this, and then they, they go tinkering back out, they end up limping back in. Show, it's like, oh my God, I didn't realize how my shoulder was going to hurt. Oh my God, this cramp up in my neck. Oh my goodness, my hip. Oh my goodness. It, it ends up happening because it goes right back to the food. And if you are accepting the I'm older, so I know my body is getting ready to break down. That's just a part of getting older. I'm telling you, that's that's a lie. Yeah, that is but 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 not only older story. people, younger people as well. We just had this conversation with Carnivore Kip who had done a phenomenal job in his first seven months. And then he shared where he kind of fell off the wagon, right? And, and, and some of the ailments that he was mm -hmm. experiencing prior to the carnivore suddenly reappeared. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he, he was, and he's a young guy too. He's a young guy. And uh, so it's not just about age, you know, that's one of the things that even though we see the majority of the people, I think so far that I've observed have been um, the older, more mature crowd where the younger people who are not experiencing some of these ailments. Yeah, I don't have a problem. Uh, yeah, but it might not. I mean, I shared this. Have until strong opinions about not doing it, you know, or, or not feeling obligated or not, not even understanding why they should be doing it. They don't right. want to give up. 
the 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 sweet taste and 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 I understand that you know we well, that we, we've all we, been victims we, we of that. We use our grands for that one. Those our legacies. It's like, but what I end up telling them is that uh, when it happens, because it will happen, just know, excuse me, that you can come. You here is something that you can do besides taking that path, and you can uh, feel better. But I just think of the irritable bowel, just all kind of ailments. And you, you, you prefer to keep pushing that pill and, 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 and not doing. And, and that's fine if that's what it is that you want. But don't turn around and tell me when I'm aging backwards, my insides feel phenomenal. I've never felt like this before and that something is wrong. We used to think something was wrong with somebody that only wanted to eat vegetables or fruit. It's like, what, what was the question? You ain't eating no meat? Well, why all of a sudden meat was important then? When somebody tell you that you were just eating vegetables. Well, that, it goes against the norm. No. Well, well, here's the thing though. See, Where with wait a minute, see, see, there's um, vegetables and, and, and a lot of the, the fruits and things they have, or vegetables for sure, they have vitamins that, that um, people feel that our bodies can process. Well, we, we, we can't process the vitamins, the nutrients, right, properly from vegetables as we can from meat. Our bodies are able to digest and, and absorb those nutrients from meat, not from the vegetables. Okay, so, so this we're is, missing this, a lot of those. This is what came into my head when you said that. All right, so the acid in the stomach is what breaks the food down to the form that it's needed to send the nutrients throughout the body. But when you put in the fibers and the vegetables and the fruits and all this other stuff, your body doesn't break it all the way down to the degree for it to be absorbed like that. Right. And because of that, that's why the meat that's broken down that you've never looked back and saw some meat in your poop. Never. Not one time that you look back and saw something that you uh, but nuts. Fruit, uh, uh, greens, corn, all of that, peanuts, all of that stuff you found in your poop because your body could not digest it. Now, now that's what your body is doing. They ain't got nothing to do with me. But that is how we were designed. And then I started thinking about when this land was barren, where was the fruit trees and all this other stuff? Though everything that we have pretty much has been planted. It wasn't natural or nature for us. This is stuff brought in, something that was maybe in a tropical place, okay? The people there, the indigenous ones there can handle that. When you start going to other areas, that's not our food type. That's not what it is that we were doing. It was, he went out there and, 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 and the group of them and they went out and killed it, brought it back. And I turned around and cut it up and did everything. Made myself a fur coat, got me some little moccasins going on, had my little uh, head cover and we ate. And that was it. And we ate good. And that's where we learned how to salt the meat and we doing all this other great things. Well, I didn't get out everything that I wanted to say because I will say this. Um, I was probably more upset prior to coming on because it's I'm watching my so-called friends, uh, whether you social media friends, Facebook friends or anything, you you ailments, doctor's appointments, all kind of stuff. And I'm like, I'm not doing any of that anymore. None of it. And I try to put myself in your position if I was watching someone. So unfortunately, I'm happy the way that we found this was really through you because I don't think I would have done it. And so I do understand. You just can't call like what I'm doing crazy because I'm doing what all of us were doing prior to this industrial revolution that came about that brought us the cereal and the waffles and all that other stuff. That's where all that came from. And so did your sicknesses. Okay. That's Sound in good? There. Yeah. That's it. Day 275 for you. Day 273 for me. Cause we ain't started at the same time. And so I, that's all I'm gonna talk about. That's it. Nine months in. And you can't tell me 140 pounds. Yeah. You cannot tell me. Go ahead. Just, just go right here. I cannot wait for my one year anniversary. I cannot wait for uh, turning 60. I can't wait for any of those things because it's all coming. All right. Say goodbye.